Good morning and welcome to the Atlantic Hearing Management Board webinar. Um, I'm Sheree Patterson, the current chairperson, and I'd like to start out saying I hope everyone is doing well and staying safe during these unprecedented times. Um, as Tony said, as this is our first meeting with this sort of webinar, I would like to just remind members to use the hand raising button uh, to be called on and to please have patience with everybody. Um, we want to make sure that people have a voice. So we might be asking them to unmute themselves and going through processes to make sure that they have a voice. All that being said, I would now like to call the meeting to order. To account for those present at this board meeting, Kirby Roots Murdy will conduct a roll call. Again, please unmute yourself when your name is called and acknowledge with a yes. And we will start from north and move towards the southern states. Kirby? Great, thank you, Madam Chair. Hopefully everyone can hear me all right. We'll start off with the state of Maine. Uh, Megan Ware? I'm here. Thank you. Steve Train? All right, so not hearing Steve Train. I've got him noted as absent. Uh, Senator Miramont. I'm here. Sorry. The control panel went away. I'm here. No worries. Thank you. All right. Uh, moving to the state of New Hampshire. Uh, our Madam Chair, Shree Patterson, is present. Next, uh, Richie White. Present. Great. Thank you. Uh, Dennis Abbott. Present. Thank you. All right, next, moving to Massachusetts, Dan McKiernan. Present. Great, thank you. Uh, Ray Kane. Present. Great, thank you. Uh, next, Representative Sarah Peake. Here. Great, thank you. Uh, next, uh, Rhode Island, Connor McManus. Here. Thank you. David Borden. Here. Thank you. Next, Eric Reed. Yes. Thank you. Next, moving to Connecticut, Matt Gates. Here we go. I'm here. Yes. Yep. Thank you, Matt. Yes. All right. Next, uh, Bill Hyatt. Present. Thank you. Next, Craig Miner. Representative Craig Miner. All right, not hearing Representative Minor. I have him noted as absent. Uh, next, uh, Jim Gilmore. Living the dream. <laughs> Thank you, Jim. Next, Emerson Hasbrook. Here. Thank you. Uh, next, I have John McMurray. Kirby, John's on, but he's having trouble connecting, so. Um... He's on Zoom with us right now, so you may need to somebody call him and give him some hand, give him a hand. Okay, thank you for that heads up, Jim. Appreciate it. I'll let Chris. I'll, I'll, I'll let Chris know. Okay, thank you. Jim, could you text me John's cell phone number so that I could get someone to call him? I just don't have it, unless Tina does. Will do, Tony.
All right, uh, moving to uh, New Jersey, Joe Sanino. Present. Great, thank you. Uh, Tom Fody. Present. Great, thanks. Uh, Adam Nowalski. Present. Thank you. All right, uh, now to the New England Fishery Management Council, uh, Peter Kendall. Great, thank you. And then last, uh, National Marine Fishery Service, Al Allison Murphy. Present, thank you. Great, thanks. Um, I guess before I'll turn it back over to Cherie, has there been any um, resolution to John McMurray's connectivity issues? We're working on it. Mike is going to connect with him. Okay. okay, guys, I think I'm good now. It's McMurray. Oh. Great. Thank you, John. Good to hear. Sorry about that. No worries. Uh, all right, so Madam Chair, it's, it's yours. Thanks. Thank you, Kirby. Moving on, with the board's consent, I would like to uh, approve the agenda. Are there any objections? or edits to approving the agenda please raise your hand and tony will call on you thanks Allie murphy has her hand up sheree Allie, go ahead Allie. thank you tony thank you madam chair if time permits um, may i make a brief announcement other under other business okay thank you very much thank you Shree, in addition, Senator Miramont has his hand up. Senator Miramont? Well, it looked like the green arrow was pointing up, it was up, but I hadn't put it up, so I just put it down. So I'm not looking for anything. And Tony, is there anybody else? Uh, Connor McM McManus has his hand up. Connor? I'm sorry, that might have been an accident. We'll all get the hang of this quickly, I'm sure. Anybody else, Tony? That is all, Sheree. Pat Altman has his hand up. I think that wants to do a sound check, which we will do later with him since he is not on this board. Okay, uh, with those changes, then the agenda is approved. With the board's approval, I would like to seek consent to approve the proceedings from the February 2020 meeting. Are, they, are, are there any objections or changes to the proceedings? If so, please raise your hand and Tony will call on you. I do not see any hands raised, Sheree. Thank you. Seeing none, then the proceedings are approved. Next item on the agenda is to address the final approval of Addendum 3. However, before we get started with the presentation of the draft addendum, it has been brought to my attention that there are concerns with moving forward with the addendum at this time. Uh, some of the concerns that have been expressed is the New England Fisheries Management Council has concerns that uh, the MSA may be violated by discluding some fishing gears with some of the proposed seasonal quotas that this addendum may be ahead of Amendment 8 of the New England Fishery Management Council's Atlantic Herring Management Plan, where the Commission and Council's work in managing Atlantic hand, uh, Herring may be in conflict. And maybe we want to wait until the Council and the Commission leadership meet 
which was a request at the last council meeting and voted on uh, by council members. So all of that being said, um, I would like to ask Kirby to show as a reminder the 2020 specifications of Area 1A as approved in February and also the allocation distribution that was approved in October of 2019. So I'm also been made aware that there is a motion that is proposed for the board's consideration. Would the maker of the motion please present the motion? Um, if someone would like to set the motion, please raise your hand and Tony will acknowledge uh, that person as a seconder. But I'd like to hear from the maker of the motion first. Thank you. Sheree, I think Megan Ware might be the maker of the motion as she has her hand up. Megan, if you can move forward with making the motion. Thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, good morning, everyone. Just to follow up on what the chair has said, I think there are kind of several loose ends right now regarding hearing management actions. Um, we still don't have a final rule on Amendment 8, which could prohibit midwater trial gear within 12 nautical miles of Area 1A year round. Um, and I don't have a sense of which way that amendment will go, but it could significantly impact the midwater trial fleet. Um, we also have a new assessment that's going to be out in, I think, a little over than a month. Um, and it's possible that that assessment will come back with poor results for the herring stock. So I think that will have impact on upcoming specifications. And then, as the chair mentioned um, at the last council meeting, there was a decision to have discussions between the council and the commission regarding herring management and the collaboration between the two bodies. Um, and this meeting hasn't happened yet. So given these things, I think it might be important just to take a breath right now and let these actions play out. So the motion I have is move to postpone final action on draft addendum three until after a final rule on amendment eight is published and the council commission leadership can meet to discuss hearing management. Sheree, Richie White has his hand up. I assume that is for a second. Richie, is that a second? Yes, Madam Chair, I'd like to second that motion. Thank you, Richie. So based on the motion that is in front of the board, which is to uh, postpone final action on draft addendum three until after a final rule on amendment eight is published and the council commission leadership can meet to discuss hearing management. I'd like to hear discussion. So please raise your hand and remember to unmute yourself when Tony calls on you. Thank you. Peter Kendall has his hand raised. Peter? Yes, thank you, Madam Chair. Um, and I can support this motion. I appreciate the, um, the fact that, uh, you know, in delaying this addendum, as, as um, Madam Chair, you stated that the, the council, um, you know, didn't support part of this addendum as it was written. And with a number of moving targets going on right now, I can appreciate the fact that um, we we need to see what happened in Amendment Eight with the with the final rule and with the uh, the current assessment that's uh, being updated right now. Um, like Ms. Weir said, probably in another month we'll have results from that. And so I think it's wise right now to you know, put addendum three on the on the shelf for just a little bit and see see how it plays out. So I appreciate this motion. Thank you, PK. Anybody else, Tony? 
currently only a member um, of the public. From uh, it is John Hare. I don't know if he wants to speak to the um, assessment. And then also Ali Murphy has her hand up. Okay, um, I'll go with Ali first. Uh, she's a council member, then I'll go to the public. Thank you, Madam Chairwoman. Um, I agree with um, some of the comments from Ms. Ware and from Mr. Kendall. I think um, uh, a slight delay to the final approval of, of this action will give um, the Commission and the Council and, and NIMFS as well time um, to meet, to discuss our issues, um, to ensure consistency and, and um, between the state plan and the federal plan and, and move forward in a more um, concerted way. So I can support this um, this motion. Thank you. Thank you, Ali. Okay, um, we have time, so I will take a couple of public comments. Tony, if you could direct who is uh, commenting for the board to hear their names. Thank you. First, I've unmuted. Thank you, Tony. Um, I assume you can hear me. I just wanted to provide some more details about the timing of the assessment. Um, the peer review is the 22nd to 26th of June. So um, the results for all the assessments that will be part of that peer review should be available um, in the mid-July timeframe. Thank you. Thank you, John. Tony, is there anyone else from the public? I'm just scrolling through the list to make sure. Uh, we have Mary Beth Tooley. Mary Beth, I will unmute you. And then on deck, I have Jeff Kalin. Go ahead, Mary Beth. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, thank you, Madam Chair. I just had one question. I'm wondering if that leadership meeting has been scheduled. Not to my knowledge. Okay, thank you. Uh, I'll follow up after the meeting. Jeff Kalen, you're um, you should be unmuted and you can. Yep. Go ahead, Jeff. Okay. Okay. Um. That's. Am I on now? You are. Yeah, the headset's a pain. Okay, apologies. Um, yeah, good morning, everybody. Hope everybody's well. Um, I'm Jeff Kalen from Lunds Fisheries, and I was getting ready to read the AP report, but I guess I'm not going to have to do that now. Um, so I just wanted to say that I really support um, Ms. Ware's motion, Madam Chair, and um, I, I really think it was the right thing to do. So. I appreciate that, and uh, we'll stay we'll stay tuned. The, the question I have is, does the board have to take action again to on the October 2019 decision up on allocations uh, in 1A, or does that just stand if it's not changed? Thank you. It's my understanding that it stands. Okay, that's that's great. Um, thank you, Cherie. I, I'm glad to hear that. Thanks again. Jeff, just be sure to mute. Perfect. You muted yourself. Thank you. Okay. Um, I'd like to go back to the board after we've heard the comments from the public. Is there any further? Discussion from the board. If there is, please raise your hand. Sheree, I'm scrolling through the list really quick. I don't see anybody else with their hand up. Give me one more second here. 
Nope, no one else has their hand up. Thank you, Tony. Then um, we will vote on the motion. The motion again is to postpone final action on draft addendum three until after a final rule on amendment eight is published and council commission leadership can meet to discuss herring management. The motion was made by Ms. Ware, seconded by Mr. White. We ask that the administrative commissioners be the ones to vote on behalf of the state. If there is a need to caucus, please raise your hand now. Madam Chair, just as a point of clarification for the board and members of the public, I want people to be aware that uh, Amendment 8 is the New England Council's uh, amendment and the draft addendum obviously is is the commission's just a, a point of clarification and it'll be reflected with the uh, recording for this meeting thanks thank you kirby tony does anybody have their hands raised Shree, i do not see anybody with their hand raised okay then we'll have Cole kirby uh conduct the roll call from north to south please remember to unmute yourself yourself when speaking All right, great. Thanks, Madam Chair. All right, so we're starting with the state of Maine. We'll go south. This is Megan. Yes. Thank you. New Hampshire. Yes, this is Richie. Uh, uh, New Hampshire votes yes. Thank you. Massachusetts. This is Dan McKernan voting yes. Thank you. Uh, Rhode Island. This is Connor McManus voting yes. Thank you. Connecticut. Uh, this is Matthew Gates voting yes. Thank you. New York. Jim Gilmore, yes. Thank you. New Jersey. Joe Semino, yes. Thank you. New England Fisher Management Council. Peter Kendall for the New England Council. Yes. Thank you. National Marine Fisheries Service. This is Allie Murphy. I vote yes. Great. Thank you. So there's nine yeses, zero noes, zero abstentions, zero no votes. Motion has passed. Thank you, everyone. So seeing that um, Addendum 3 is being postponed, uh, there will be no need to reconsider the 2020 Area 1 specifications. And we can move on to other business. Allie, uh, if you could please provide uh, your update to the final rule filing of the Atlantic Herring specifications. And if anybody else would like to uh, bring up other business, please raise your hand in the interim. Thank you. Thank you, Madam Chair. I just wanted to let the board know that this morning, our final rule approving the measures in framework adjustment six, including the 2020 specifications, and some other minor corrections um, filed in the Federal Register and is effective today. The rule approved specifications as were proposed in the proposed rule and as recommended by the New England Council. Um, following this meeting, I'll be working with um, other GARFO staff to update our website and quota monitoring and send out our email notifications, but we wanted to um, let the board know this morning. Thank you. Thank you, Allie. Tony, does anybody else have their hands raised for other business? I do not see any other hands raised for other business, Shree. Well, this is going 
going faster than I thought it would. Um, seeing no other business, is there any public that would like to comment? If so, please raise your hand. And this is apart from what we have already discussed. Shereen, Mary Beth Tooley has her hand raised. I can mute her if that is okay with you. Yes, please. Thank you. Hold on, Mary Beth. Um, um, Mary Beth, you are self-muted, so you can go ahead. You should be able to unmute yourself now. There you go. Uh, can you hear me, Tony? I can. Okay, thank you very much, and thank you, Madam Chair. I just wanted to, to note one thing. Um, the AP did meet in, in, you know, prior to this meeting to comment on the addendum, um, but the AP also had a discussion about the fact that um, that the group did not feel that the commission was utilizing um, the group to its best ability and would prefer that when the commission moves forward with actions that the AP is consulted early in the process during the development of the measures. And there was, um, you know, a bit of confusion about how the measures came together and who was affected and, and things like that. It took a while to sort of get through that. And as a group, we just felt that, um, Earlier um, feedback from the AP would help the process greatly, and I wanted to bring that to the attention of the board. Thank you. Thank you, Mary Beth. Is there any other comment, Tony? Uh, Jeff Kalen has his hand up. Go ahead, Jeff. Yeah, thank you, Madam Chair. Um, yeah, Mary Beth just reminded me. The one thing I want to mention as AP chair is we only had five of 14 members attend. I really do appreciate the board, you know, using the AP to the extent that we have been able to 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 get uh, provide information to you. But I think the states uh, need to un realize that only five of 14 members attended. So, uh, Madam Chair, you know, maybe the board can be reconstituted. I don't know what what uh, you know kind of a uh, process the uh, commission's using, but I just wanted to point that out. Um, that's it. Thanks very much. Thank you, Jeff. Anything else, Tony? I do not see any other members of the public. Mary Beth, your hand is still raised. I'm not sure if that's from before or not, but... It's from before. She put her hand down. So I do not see any other members of the public with their hand raised. Okay. Thank you. Is there um, any response from the board in regards to the public comments? Please Dennis raise. Abbott has his hand up, Sheree. I'm sorry? D Dennis Abbott has his hand up. Dennis, go ahead. Yes, thank you, Sheree and Tony. Procedural issue. We went through a manual roll call, which was which took quite a bit of time, and it will take more time when we really have north to south. Is it not? And when we have a normal board meeting, we just look around the room and determine that we have a quorum. You have a list of everyone that is signed on. Can that not be used as the roll call for attendance rather than go through an individual roll call as we just did well dennis that's for the vote the roll call was just to know how each state is voting um, at the beginning of the meeting we are just um calling attendance one it helps to make sure that everybody's sound is working and to know for sure that people are um present at their computer on the meeting Thank you. Thank you, Dennis. As there's um, no other business before this board, I would like to um, say one last thing. I'd like to thank ASMFC staff for their organizational skills and running this webinar very efficiently, and um, we're very appreciative of you guys. And with that being said, this meeting is adjourned.